All right, let's move on to our next running back, and that's going to be Jerome Ford, running back out of Cincinnati. Five foot ten and a half, two hundred ten pounds. He's going to be twenty two in four months when the season kicks off. He ran a four four six at the combine, thirty one inch vertical, one hundred eighteen inch broad jump. That's not too sweet. Um, had a year two hundred fifteen yards, one thousand three hundred nineteen, uh, two hundred fifteen carries, one thousand three hundred nineteen yards, and nineteen touchdowns. Those nineteen touchdowns tied his school record. Twenty one receptions for two hundred twenty yards and a touchdown. Spent his first couple seasons at Alabama, but he was stuck behind guys like Najee Harris, uh, Damian Harris, uh, George Harrison, you know, all those Harrises. So <laughs> now the pros of a, a guy, Brian uh, Robinson, <laughs> Brian Come Robinson, uh, wasn't even, uh, wasn't Josh Jacobs there when he first, Josh Jacobs would have been there when he first got there. Yep. Yeah. So Josh Jacobs was awesome. It was really still good awesome. Back. Very undervalued dynasty running back. Pros of uh, Jerome Ford from Cincinnati. He's a fast running back with good build. Um, showed that was able to break some tackles. Solid hands in the passing game. Caught a ton of balls away mm-hmm. from his body. And he ran some solid routes. Very good lateral agility. Only 319 career, car- 319 career carries, so he doesn't have a lot of tread on his tires. Some of the cons I saw on there. He has a lot of tread on his tires. Remaining. Remaining. <laughs> You're right. Not tire. a lot of tread. Yeah, he's got a lot of tread remaining. Yep. Oh, sorry, Dad. Uh, <laughs> cons. Vision isn't all that great when I saw from him. Um, I, I totally agree with that. This is something, like, I went to Jerome Ford excited, and I came away less excited than I went into it. Me that way. also. So his vision isn't great. I saw him run into blockers multiple times, like he was Isaiah Correll. I swear, I was like, is this Isaiah Correll? Like, I saw him run, run into blockers multiple times. I, I said his eyes don't take him to the best places all the time. Uh, he just... That word's better than me, <clears throat> competent than Isaiah yeah. Correll. He just has inconsistent eyes. Like, I feel like... Very inconsistent. I, I feel like at times it, it looks like everything's developing perfect in front of him and and he hits the holes and then other times I'm like, where the hell are you going, man? That's like, what I said. Like right here, like yeah. wouldn't see the holes quick enough yeah. as he was a good athlete, but not like that pure running back, sure. right? Like mm-hmm. he's just one of those guys that's really good enough to go to Alabama. But then when he gets there, you're like, oh, you're not Trent as good. Trent Richardson, as, dang it. Yeah. We're not as good as you thought you were. You he has mean? okay contact balance also. Nothing like nothing to write home about. Better outside than mm-hmm. inside. Uh, not overly elusive. So it's just somebody comes away as, as somebody that's just a pretty good athlete mm-hmm. that got by on being really athletic, but just not a pure running back. So somebody who I thought was like, okay, this is going to be a nice PPR upside running back. I came away very uh, disappointed when it was all said and done. I, I, I'm a name that everybody kind of knows and yeah. was excited to talk about. Um, I'm, I'm going to start up right now, and I saw Jerome Ford go a little higher than I, than I liked. Like He went ahead of like Samir White. He went ahead of uh, Damian Pierce. I just didn't. Get it? He was, I think, before I watched all the film on him, he was in that third tier, lumped in with four or five guys, and now he is no longer in that tier. I moved him down to my uh, yeah. tier below. Again, yep. I have those first three guys in their own tiers, then sure. tier four. He's in tier five for me. Right. So you just have an extra tier, but they're really the same players in my same third yeah. tier that mm-hmm. he would be in your fourth tier, and now the fourth tier that is your fifth tier. <laughs> What dimension are we <laughs> in? Uh, and we're back. Can anyway, one. yes, he, he dropped a tear for both of us. Just off, off the film study. Is there anything else that you want to hit on? That Not really, man. I, I mean, I, I kind of talked through some of that while you were talking and, and collaborated. And Yeah, I, he's one of the fastest running backs in this class, and and that's really what you have to hang your hat on is – he could he could be he could break a home run play at any time, but I just don't know that there that he showed enough on tape for a team to really give him a real opportunity. It's going to take an injury or two injuries for him to really get on the field, and it's just tough to rely on a player where it's either he has a seventy five yard touchdown or he gets you five points that week, you know, and mm-hmm. and that's the kind of player he is. So I, I'm I'm more or less out, especially at the price that I've been seeing so far. Um, as far as nerd score goes, uh, I. I, I was with you guys. I wanted to have it a little higher and I didn't even have as many negative remarks about his vision. So I want to go back and watch a little more because you guys might absolutely be right. And I just might not have picked up on that as much, but there was a plenty of other negative notes that I was taking. Uh, so that I, was I, the biggest one that popped out for me. I was like, yeah. wow, his vision's so bad. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to go watch it all. Too. I didn't have high scores for his vision, but uh, it might even be worse than I originally realized. But uh, he, he's in my, he's in my bottom eight guys here in the class. So I, yeah, I, I was underwhelmed with him. Good speed, catch the ball. There is a place for that, but I just don't know that he's going to be much more than third running backs, maybe a backup running back yeah, on, on most teams. There's a place for it. <laughs> He'd be really good there. Yeah. Honestly, that's where, I mean, that's where, I mean, I'm not going to make the money. That's where he'd be really good. 
If you want to be really good, someone. Do you watch the USFL? <laughs> do you, oh, what's that new league coming back? Uh, I have no idea. Is that USFL? So. I think it's USFL. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Coming I mean, back. have you seen some games? Are they the they, LFL? Do they started yet? Okay. All right. Let's brought it back. Be oh, like is the, it is it April? Right. Yeah. yeah it's it's be like come back. NFL sub league. So it's just very like, and I'm with you. Like, I think he's a name that's going to push some other guys down the list. So I want to thank Jerome Ford because I'm I am not drafting. He's if he gets drafted in the right spot, he's a third round pick. But at that point, I'm dra- I'm grabbing some of these receivers. I think I think a third round this year is gonna be a really good mix for some of these tight ends, like guys like uh, Kate Otten, uh somewhere along those guys that might get drafted. I think a little higher than some people anticipate. So for me, I'm just shifting gears after a certain tier of running backs, and he's not in that tier, unfortunately. I- I'm with you because if if you're going to take those shots on those those dart throw guys, you want to say okay. Does he spill, fill a specific role really, really well for a team? If, even if he's not a three down back or, you know, does he fill a specific role really well for a team? And I just don't know that he does. I mean, you could argue maybe like a third down running back kind of thing, but uh, even, even his pass protection I thought was, was pretty underwhelming. So it, it would be tough to see like if that would work. So I, I just don't know that he has that one area where like, this is how he wins consistently. I, th- I said, <laughs> In his past, where I was like, he he sticks his nose in there, and he usually holds up. Like that's how I, I literally in my. In my there were a couple notes. times where I just saw him get. Yep. I was like, oh, oh man. Yep. Oh. Yep. That was a train wreck, and he did not. He was not the train. Nope. Jared, final yeah, thoughts on running back Jerome Ford from he's Cincinnati. He's outside my top fifteen running backs. So that's not good in this class. No, I it's mean a weak class. It's it's pretty much like almost off my board. Pretty much like. Like Garrett, what what you were saying, if an an injury happens, I want to know if a guy can come and maybe take the job, kind of like Elijah Mitchell did last year. Like I'm looking for someone like that, and pretty much the only highlight in this guy's tape is is his long speed. Um, Doesn't break tackles, goes down pretty easy, doesn't make people miss. A little undersized for me, so man, there's just not much in here that I that I like. Um, So now he's he's pretty much off my board. Okay. 